Hey, how's it going guys? The Bailnator here, and today I have a Harry Potter Easter egg for you guys. Now, I'm showing you on the map where it is. It's in a T-shaped house next to this road uh, by the lake. And I don't think the whole house really has to do with the Easter egg so much as under the stairs, because as if you've seen the Harry Potter movies, you know that Harry Potter with his, I think his, his aunt and uncle maybe? I don't really remember. It's been a while since I've seen the movies. Um, but he lives under the stairs with them. So I explore everything but the downstairs room first. I'm not sure why. Uh, the only reason I kept this in is because in the back room here is a paint. Uh, Revolutionary, I think it is. It's all right. It's an okay paint job. Um, that's your way out, so you got to remember that. And then this is uh, pretty spooky shit. So I'm going to go ahead and go back downstairs. And my buddy actually opened it and was kind of freaking out. Um, so at first, I didn't even realize this was Harry Potter. I just seen jewelry, and I was like, ooh, money. So if you can see, on the bed is a wizard hat. And on the back uh, bookshelf, or not bookshelf, but nightstand, is glasses. Now, I didn't um, look at them good at first, so I'll do another good look in a second. Basically, to start this little Easter egg, you need to keep hitting the skull until it just completely spins and you can't hit it no more. So I do it like twice, and then my buddy does it, I think he said four times, and then some creepy shit happens. You get the, the smoke, and then a ghost attacks you. I'm not sure why a ghost attacks you. I don't know what that really has any significance. You can't loot him, but you can take his weapon. Now, all of the doors, all, all the way out, shut. So as you can see, the window's shut, that door is locked. So I go upstairs, freaks me the hell out because it keeps shutting. And so I just figure, oh, I'll keep looking. So these all shut. And then, as you can see, the ghost comes, and you can see them through the wall, which is pretty cool. Only two come, though. Now, I didn't do this during nighttime, and this is the way out. Um, we did it during the day, and we came back at night, but we already started the Easter egg and nothing happened. I don't know if doing the Easter egg at night will change anything. I don't think so. So this is the creepy part. Some chick, suicide, in the bathroom, but then there were some feet on the wall. I'm not really sure if this really plays into the Harry Potter Easter egg or not. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. And I was thinking maybe she was like the aunt, and then there's this guy under the bookshelf, could be the, the uncle. But then, like, where was the little douchebag kid? I don't know. So, we tried to get in there. We were hitting it, kicking it. I'm using some explosive rounds. I use fire. Blow myself down the stairs. Nothing really happens. And then I decide, well, maybe if I shoot the chick, something will happen. Again, it's not the case. But, you know. I tried at least. I tried uh, using electric bolts too because, you know, maybe shocking her alive or something. Again, doesn't work. So that's it for it. I'm not sure if maybe we just didn't do something right or if this really is it. So as I said, if you figure anything out, let me know. And this is just taking a better look. As you can see, there were feet on the wall, which actually I missed that completely when I actually recorded this. Didn't even notice it. So this is your way out through the window. Um, I'm going to keep looking for stuff like this and bringing you guys more videos. If you enjoyed this or any others, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.